Welcome on board today's drive along here in Guernsey in the Channel Islands and we are back as usual in the van. Great drive along today. Hope everyone's doing good. At the moment we are at my old school. This is my old St. Sampson's Secondary School. Um, sort of driving through the car park. I've just done a bit of work just in this place so um, driving through but you wouldn't normally drive through here. But yeah, it brings back a few memories. Just pulling out, heading out to the coast. So if you're new here, this channel is all about an uh, island life and everything to do with living in Guernsey in the Channel Islands. And uh, if you've been before, welcome back. So on our way down, yellow line or the yellow arrow in the road we just went past means there's a yellow line coming up so we are just leaving Delancey Park I'm heading down here it's a one-way road at the moment if I went left that takes me down to the front uh, but I'm going straight on because I'm heading towards just off from the halfway so you can see this is early morning it's about half past eight in the morning and uh, there's people sort of milling about getting in their cars on the way to work so I just want to show you what it's like early in the morning. Quite a few cars parked in the roads here. And um, yeah, hope everyone's doing good. Hope you're enjoying the drive alongs. Remember if you like this sort of stuff, think about subscribing if you want to see more stuff on Guernsey. Because I've got some really good videos coming up. And um, if you meet a car on this road, it's a pain. Like I did the other day and I had to pull in but it's very tight coming to the end of this road here this is uh, quite a tough one because you've got to stop then pull out you've got to really lean forward here and I was waiting here some time so I edited the video I basically cut out the bit that was sat there for a few minutes because uh, no one let me go and it wasn't clear so I cut that bit out of the video saves you just staring at a wall for a few minutes so at the traffic lights, we've got the Fontaine pub on the right, just past the wall, that cream pill building there, uh, Fontaine pub. So we're going to go left at the traffic lights. So we're currently heading north towards um, Lancrest Way. See speed zone 25 along here. Been down this road quite a few times. I'm heading to the coast. Speed zones are really slow along here because the road's so tight. Because there's a pavement on the right as well. So I think the speed drops down to around 20 miles per hour. One way road and there's pedestrians on the right. So you can see why it's a slow road. Really nice morning. Had a bit of rain uh, earlier on. See, it is very tight round here. Years ago, this used to be a two-way road, I think. And of course, down this road is the Guernsey Prison. You, you, you can't actually see it, it's topped away. But I'll show you the road, it's on the left. Coming up. Where is it? It's around it somewhere, have we gone past it? Not sure. I think it's... We may have gone past it actually. Yeah, I think we did, but it was on the left. No, it's just there, I think. Anyway, somewhere on the left. I should know, because I used to work there. <laughs> Too busy chatting. Through we go. Over the speed bumps. Nice little houses on the left here. And of course this takes us to Oatlands Village. So let me know if you've ever visited Oatlands Village. It's like a tourist attraction. It's basically a minute down the road. So uh, getting over the speed bumps. And we're getting a bit of traffic. Uh, around Oatlands there is a little bit of traffic. So I'll cut the video a bit so you're not stuck staring at a car for too long. Again quite a tight squeeze down here. You've got to be careful. 
two way road cyclists coming down as well more humps in the road slow us down a bit there we go over we go yeah Oatlands is nice uh, it's quite quiet at the moment due to what's going on but it's really nice in the summer visitors a lot of visitors visit Oatlands village I'll show you it's coming off on the right Again, just keeping your wits about you around here. And a slight bit of drizzle starting on the windscreen. Now and again, I put the wipers on. That's Oatlands on the right. So the entrance to Oatlands Village um, is just there. On the right, there's a car park. Now, see, this is where I got stuck in traffic because there's traffic lights which go around the corner. So I will um, just edit the video so we're not staring at this van for a few minutes there we go as if by magic we're at the green lights already be good if you could do that in real life couldn't you just fast forward through traffic you can see a bit of a build up people going to work and things now the sky is turning a little bit grey in front so uh, we're heading for some rain today it started to go blacker and blacker the closer I got towards the coast and uh, we did get some rain actually you can see it's not looking too great ahead it turned out to be nice it turned out it started out nice but uh, you can see definitely rain on its way going past on the left the Pony Inn which is like a restaurant quite a few glory you can see the sky it's really turning now nice yellow chimneys on the right is that yellow yeah and yellow wall we can't miss that house and uh, we've got a, a building sort of stores place on the right coming up called um, Capel's Building Stores on the right there just passing it now so a lot of people get their tiles for their bathrooms and kitchens there they do um, log fires as well Capel's Building Stores have been there quite a long time so it's at the traffic lights and that's the Fiat 500s in front uh, that car in front it used to be really popular in Guernsey. I don't know if they're popular now, but they were they were a nice size, small little car. Fiat 500s they were. They're ideal for driving around in an island. Um, I don't think you'd want to go too fast with one on a motorway. They're not the greatest for high speed, but just for island life, driving around, they're actually spot on. They're really good. I used to have one. <coughs> I had the... Um, Fiat 500 uh, the sport version the R-Bath it was called my wife's got a Fiat 500 now they're ideal for around here you know because you don't really get above 35 most of the time and um, we've got a filter in turn system straight through and I go through some nice little lanes here actually Where are we? We're going to turn. We turn right in a second. Down the little lanes. Nice bit of lane work. Again, really be careful driving through these lanes. We've barely enough room to pass one car, let alone two. Nice little Guernsey cottages. And then right. Follow it down. So we're heading towards uh, the west coast. We'll come out there eventually. I will leave you. Enjoy the drive along for a little bit. 
and I'll get back to you as we get further down towards the coast. Enjoy the drive. Here we are, arriving at the west coast. Hope you enjoyed the drive along. As usual, click the screen to watch the next video. And if you're interested in Guernsey, remember to subscribe. Until the next time, take care, and I'll see you on the next video.